College may just be a quick stop over to the NBA for Wiggins and Parker, but it's an important season nonetheless. Duke insider Chris Patola joins us from Durham, and Josh Klingler is our Kansas insider in Lawrence. And Josh, we'll start with you. How has Andrew Wiggins fit into the program run there by Bill Self? Well, it's now just finally about basketball, I think, for Andrew Wiggins and the Kansas program. He did a lot of media before the season started, a lot of demands on his time, and now they've kind of bunkered him in, and they just want him to be a basketball player for the next uh, several months. He's fit in just fine. He's going to be counted upon, though, to be the leader of a very talented squad, and they may have to push him a little bit at times to, uh, to take that mantle, but a kid that has uh, terrific athletic ability and can jump out of the gym. Yeah, we're just seeing that jumping ability there. Chris, how's Parker fitting in at Duke? Well, he's been a lot of fun to watch, Ray. His versatility at times can be eye-popping. He can score the ball in a lot of ways. Here's the scary thing. He's been inconsistent at times, as freshmen can be, so he's got a lot of room to grow. Uh, he's one of Duke's best players. They're going to need him to play. At times, he can get into some foul trouble. He's playing inside. Duke a little bit thin up front. But he's been a lot of fun to watch. I'm excited to see him Tuesday night uh, against Wiggins. Yeah, all right, so that is the big question. Uh, and we'll start with you here, Chris. Which one of these players will have a better season, do you think? Well, I think Jabari Parker, and not just because I'm the Duke, the Duke insider. Uh, I just think he's more skilled. I think Wiggins is a freakish athlete who's yet to develop a, a full game, and I think that's why he projects better as an NBA prospect. But Parker's so versatile, can do it in a lot of ways. I, I like him better. I would take him over Andrew Wiggins. Come on, Chris. We've heard from about everybody that's seen the kid play in high school that said Andrew Wiggins is a stud. In fact, some have said the best high school player they've ever seen. Now, that's pretty lofty company. And he's projected to be the number one pick in the draft already without stepping on the floor. So if he's great in high school and he projects as great in the NBA, there's no reason to think he's not going to be a stud in college. Well, Josh, Bill Self can throw as many lob passes to Wiggins as he wants. But at the end of the day, I want to see if Wiggins has the ability to score the basketball from the perimeter, get to the basket and finish, show some versatility to that game. That's the one thing Parker has for his size at 6'8", so skilled. Come on, you don't have to show any versatility if you throw the ball at the rim all the time. Dunking is the easiest way to score, but you're right. He's going to have to knock down some threes specifically. He's been a little bit cold to start the season in that regard, but he's going to get a ton of opportunities to score some points in this Bill Self system. Guys, both of, both of these players, I think, uh, have that high percentage shot mastered pretty well. We're eager to see the two of them face each other Tuesday at the Champions Classic. Chris, as you mentioned, and guys, uh, Josh, thanks to you as well. Great insight from both of you today. Thanks. Thanks. You bet.